Hey everybody, I'm Don Dabney from Left Coast Classics, and this is Old Fred. And I get some pretty cool cars if you're familiar with my YouTube channel and you follow us, but this this is pretty unusual. So this is a, a 1965 Chevy C20 with a camper setup, and it's a one family owned truck. And I guess a few years ago, the, the man that bought it knew, uh, he passed away, and his daughter picked it up, drove it all the way back to Sonoma, and put it in the driveway. And and uh, anyway, we've known them for years, and I came over and looked at it and just thought, this thing is too cool, and I bought it. So uh, over its, it was purchased brand new in Simi Valley, which is an inland area of Los Angeles County, kind of near Ventura. And uh, this guy, Gene, bought this truck brand new, and he took it over to Sears and had an underdash Sears air conditioning system put in it, which works, and it blows cool. It's got um, three tanks, the original one behind the seat, and two additional auxiliary tanks. It's got power brakes, power steering. Um, it's got a cassette player if you want to bring your mix trips on your camping trip, your mixtapes. And uh, it's just highly functional. I mean, he really took great care of it. And in the photos, you'll see just piles and piles and piles of documents on how well he took care of it. But because it sat in the, their driveway for a couple of years, we brought it back and we went through everything. We wanted to make it totally road ready so somebody could just buy it and go on a road trip and not worry about it. So so you'll see in the description what we did, but we went through the brakes, new brake hoses, we did brake cylinders, we put a new battery in it. It has two batteries, one battery to, for the back for the camper that charges while it drives, and then the other one that runs the truck. Um, we didn't replace the camper one, but we did replace the, the one that runs the truck. Um, we did a bunch of things. We changed the oil, we checked all the safety things, we replaced some light bulbs, and we just made sure that like all the fluids are like topped off, the thing's ready to go. And it really starts and runs and drives great. Um, great additions, like I said, power steering, power brakes, air conditioning, and um, it's in the description. It wasn't that long ago, though. It did have a BF Goodrich uh, wrench crate 350 engine put in it. So it's got a fairly low mileage uh, 350 V8 that was a brand new crate engine in the, in the truck, too. So it runs really great. Um, we went through the camper. We made sure everything in the back of the camper is working. The only thing that's not working is the original refrigerator. You could always pull it out, put an electric one in if you want, or if you want to buy a propane one and put it in that'll run off electricity or propane, you can do that. But it's really functional. And so the whole point was we wanted to like send it off with some respect um, because this guy really loved this camper and he, he bought the camper and then he waited, you know, I think he waited nine years till he could afford to buy the camper, the deluxe dolphin camper that's on the back now. It's never been off the truck since it was installed brand new in 1974. Um, oh, tires are great, tons of tread, no dry rot. So it's just going to be a really cool truck for someone to go on an adventure and if that's what you want to do. We think it's cool. He named the truck Fred when it was new, and now you can see at one point he put plates on it to say Old Fred because at some point, obviously, Fred got old. Anyway, we'll take a little trip. The uh, choke knob button is gone. I have one, and uh, by the way, I don't know if you saw that. It does a little poof of smoke on startup, and then it burns clean. So I'm not sure if it's like the carb might be a little rich, but we like the way it's running, so we're gonna leave it. The uh, choke's been bypassed. It has electronic choke because it has a more modern drivetrain in it now. And uh, the thing's just cool. Let's take a spin down this bumpy Sonoma road. It's surprisingly easy to drive this truck. Three on the tree, shifts nice, blinkers work, lights are all working. It has a CV radio. We haven't hooked it up, it was disconnected for some reason, but you know, if you wanna do your Burt Reynolds thing and you know, you could do that. I'm not sure anybody's on CVs anymore. But shifting's all really nice, handling feels good. It's actually very easy to drive. It'd probably be a good candidate for a reverse camera just so you can see what's behind you if you're not used to driving a rig this size. But uh, it's got seat belts in it. It's got two seat belts. You could always add a center one if you want to put a third person in the middle. Downshifting's good. It's just cool. He had it repainted once. It was originally white. He repainted again, I think uh, sometime in the 80s. So it kind of got like a consumer level paint job, and uh, which would have been appropriate at the time. And it seems to be fine. It's got a good shine to it. There's some little nicks and you know places that have been touched up and so on. 
the uh, it's got the heavy duty hubs and uh, and lugs set up on the wheels also. So it's very sturdy and it's very capable of uh, of uh, whoa. It was like a police officer backing out into me. He really has got to watch where he's going. He's probably a friend of mine. Check it out. Shift's great. Plenty of power. Oh, all the gauges are working too. temperature gauge. Oil pressure is fantastic. It runs uh, north of center to the right of center, so it's probably at 50 when you're driving. The fuel gauge works, the odometer, the speedometer works. Just really cool truck. Anyway, his daughter told me that he just really loved this truck and he worked on it all the time and he tweaked it and played with it. And uh, you can tell he took really great care of it, and it's rare enough to find anything one owner this age, but then to find it so kitschy and camp ready and find a good camper on the back that isn't destroyed, kind of makes it a little extra special. the capacity of all the tanks combined is, but I would imagine it's pretty good. The stock tank, I don't even know what that is. I think they were 18 gallons. So if you figured you had three that are roughly about that size, you'd have a lot of range. You could drive a, a lot of miles without stopping for fuel if you wanted to. And it just runs obviously on, on uh, regular unleaded. And since it's a BF good rich, rich engine, it would be all set up to run on unleaded. The original engine would not have been set up for that. I'm going, getting like thumbs up. The guy over there. Everybody likes it. Check us out at leftcoastclassics.com. You can find us on uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. We have a massively cool YouTube channel. You may be there already if you're watching this. We've got hundreds and hundreds of cool car videos up there. And check me out on Wheeler Dealers with my buddy Mike Brewer. And uh, been on a couple of episodes. I think it was season 12, episode 8. And seized the current season, which is 15. Oh, that's also episode 8. We always get number eight. All right, thanks for checking out the cool old old Fred. All right, I'm going to take you inside. So it's pretty cool. I'm using a fisheye lens because it's so small, but that way you can see everything. But anyway, here's a little kitschy uh, late 60s, maybe early 70s setup. Got a few dishes in here from there. With the brown and the olive green and the, the yellow. And you've got these kind of... Uh, shippy looking cabinets here with this cool rope surround just totally old school i'm 55 this totally reminds me of the 70s and it's got these these like dolphins carved in probably came from the factory like that then over here it's got a uh 
It's got a wardrobe closet here. The wood is all in really good shape. There's a little bit of veneer peeling away right there. We're going to glue that. We'll fix that up. These are all cabinets. Then this is the uh, the original fridge. Oh, here's the bed. Nice up here. It's got these storage cabinets over here that you can put like pillows or whatever in blankets. And it's got that so you can get some air up here. And uh, let's come back around. And then here's the uh, the stove. We hooked all the propane up. Everything fires up here. All the stove works. And then we also uh, tested the pump and the tanks and everything and the sink works. And then these got these original covers are still with it. So you have extra counter space and then you've got your stainless steel sinks. And more, more cabinet space up here with a few kitchen accruedments. I think there's a set of uh, pots up here. Like good quality ones. I left the good quality kind of cool kitschy stuff in. Then it's got the circuit breaker up here. So this is, uh, that's the water pump switch. I turned that on. You can hear it. You have a cigarette lighter, 12 volt outlet converter there. So you could like maybe plug your cell phones in there with a the converter. Then in here, you've got another wardrobe closet, more drawers, a fire extinguisher. Not sure if it's currently charged. I guess it's showing that it is good. And then here you got the commode. And the hookup is directly below it, so that's easy to get to. And then you've got the sink in there, and a mirror, and a wardrobe mirror here. Now that's kind of a tour of the interior. This is kind of cool. You have a window shade up here, so when you're in here, you want some privacy, take a nap, and you can pull the shade down. It's kind of cool.